classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Hit me with the chant. I want to hear it. Today, it's the students to my right, and they got that blue pride, and the teachers. I heard you guys singing it, too. Everybody's feeling it. They're from Cristo Rey Philadelphia High School in the Tioga section of Philadelphia, and they just entered the classroom, the show that test students, and these ones right here. Hey, look at this pep rally. It has been big time all day. I'm gonna say it right now for the cameras. I got that B-L-U-E pride. And this show is starting out with a P-O-P -P quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. I'm gonna say it, my heart's fluttering a little bit because I'm so excited to start this game right now. Everyone's ready to rock. Buzzers are in hand. Who's gonna win this thing? We have 30 minutes to find out. Here we go. What is the name for the pigment found in human skin and hair that gives them color? First one in, Miss Palmer. Melanin. Melanin, right. What is 32 <laughs> divided by four? Malik. Six. Oh, teachers for the steal. Mr. Perkin. Eight. Eight is right. There it was. Malik, I got you. Don't worry about it. Here we go. What is the name of the whaling ship's captain in Moby Dick? No readers. Here we go. Ahab is what we were looking for there. In the movie Pitch Perfect, Rebel Wilson's character Fat Amy reveals that her first name is actually what? Simone. Patricia. Patricia. There you go. Patty. In the MLB, the Mariners represent what city? Miss Palmer. Florida. For the steal. No buzzers in here. Zero. The Seattle was what we were looking for. Miss Palmer tried to rebuzz in with the right answer. Can't do that. Here we go, guys. Extra credit one. This one's worth double right here. Leukocytes are another name for what? Tough question. Answer, white blood cells. In what Hasbro game do two players try to destroy each other's naval fleets by guessing their coordinates? Malik. Battleship. Battleship is right. See, now you got the nerves ready to go. <laughs> what is the capital of Spain? Malik, again. It's an M. M. <laughs> hey, mm, Mr. Perkins. Madrid. Madrid is right. You were right on, though. You might be my favorite all-time player. What is the pen name of the author credited with leading a revival of reading by children after she published the Harry Potter series? Malik. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling is right. There it is. Yeah! I'm surprised you didn't give me the, it starts with a J. <laughs> JK Rowling it is, and how about that for a pop quiz? Teachers, good job, you guys got 30 points on the board. My students to the right of me, 30 points on the board. I cannot wait for you to meet this cast of characters from Cristo Rey Philadelphia High School in the Tioga section of Philly. You already know what pride they are. They're all about that blue pride. Here they are. I'm Simone Jones, I'm in 12th grade, and I'm the president of Black Student Union, so I'm used to winning. Hi, my name is Mia, I'm in 11th grade, and in my free time, well, actually, I don't really have free time. Yo, 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 it's Malik, um, I'm in 11th grade, and I'm involved in drama and a lot of things around school, so I don't think the teachers are ready for the drama I'm about to start. Hi, I'm Mr. Perkins, I teach physics, and don't let the long hair fool you, I'm here for business. Hey, everybody, I'm Ms. Palmer, I teach English, my favorite thing to do is bake, but today, I'm cooking up a win. Hey, I'm Miss Smithsud. I teach math, and I've actually taught all of our students that are here today, so all I'm gonna say is they're going down. I'm telling you guys right now, Mr. Perkins does that hair thing over and over. It never gets old. This dude is handsome. But not handsome enough, I'm not gonna send him to detention. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. 
If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay. Since the game is tied, we're going to start with the students. So, guys, you played a great game so far. You're clearly into this one. Let's jump it off with the category. How do you love history? Play, because I'm not history teacher. You want to play? Play. Play. Here you go. What city-state in ancient Greece was the center of culture and intellectual development and is now famous for the Acropolis and Parthenon? And Athens. Oh, but he said no. He's late. Athens. Absolutely right. There you go. Yo, I love the team camaraderie over here. Everyone got their answers out there. You had the input set, and then you said, we're going with this one. Okay. How about this one? I hope you all have an input about this. Teacher has to go to detention. Mr. Perkins, Miss Palmer, or Miss Mispsick, what's going to do? Mr. Perkins. <laughs> all right. The percolator is out of the game. Yeah, he's got to get him out there. Listen, we might come to you at some point in detention for just a hair flip, so just stay ready over there. Stay ready. Okay, teachers, we go back to you. Category is anatomy. The students had a great pick there. They just sent the science teacher to detention. We're going to play. We're going to play. Here you go, guys. Good luck. Which organ in the human body, located just below the left rib cage, consists of red and white pulp and helps fight infections, but can be removed if necessary? Um, we could be wrong, but we're going to say it's pancreas. Uh, you are wrong, but I'm glad you prefaced it that you could be incorrect. You were close, though. We were looking for the spleen there, guys. Oh, the spleen. Yeah. Tough question. The science teacher's like, guys, I knew that one. But that's why you're in detention, pal. How about this, guys? Two teacher lead, but one of them has to go to detention right now. Enjoy this moment. Who's it going to be? Miss Mipset. Miss Mipset, our math teacher, out of the game. <laughs> Leaving Miss Palmer all to herself, but she feels good. It's She's all confident. Right. It's all right. It's all right. All right, two teachers over there right now. The high five was everything for me. <laughs> All right, guys, you can win it right here or kick it over to Miss Palmer. Sports. If we, if, we have, if we have, she has to answer it. Oh, right. So let's pass. Okay. You like sports? No, but I'm going to take my chances. Okay, let's do it. Chloe Kim and Sean White are Olympians for the United States in what sport? Sean White, um... Is it snowboarding? Yeah, it yes! sure is! <laughs> I don't know what you could see at home, but she was doing this, I like she was on a snowboard back here, and I loved it. Okay, how about it? You get to send the students to detention. I'm sending Malik. Yeah, see Malik, 11th grader. He joins the squad in detention. And now we, actually, the category stays with you. How about okay. this? You're in control here. Your category. Television. I'll play. All right, here we go. What is the title of the 2018 spinoff of The Vampire Diaries and The Originals? No help from the audience, but I'm seeing that front row light up. Um, yeah, they probably watch more TV than I do. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah is incorrect. <laughs> Legacies is what we are looking for. Okay. Hey, students, you guys win detention. 40 points. Miss Palmer, you got to go to detention, girl. Malik, get out of here, quick. How about it, guys? Big win for you. Gets you up to 70 points in the game right now. Look, when we come back, how well do you guys spell? Pretty well? All right. Well, we're going to put you to the test. We'll see you right after the break. <laughs> show today to students and teachers from Christo Ray Philadelphia High School in the Tioga section of Philly. I have met my match when it comes to personality. <laughs> it's Rista, Sister Regina, so good to see you. Good to see you, too. All right, you got to tell me right now. First of all, I'm digging this hug that we're in. Ooh. I have not let her go since I got it right here. Uh, the students, the teachers, they are incredible people. What makes your school so special? The community that we all belong to, how we help each other, how we care about each other, how one's joys and one's sorrows all come together. I'll tell you just what. Just a unified group. I love that. And that's why I'm holding on to her. Are you a good speller? 
Well, she might be playing. We're going to spell check next. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing will get 10 points for their team. This is a big game right here. Students in the lead, 70, over their teachers, 30, and we're moving into our brand new spell check, where today it's all about themes. Theme today, which one do you have? Animals, do you love them? Do you hate them? Well, the words are all about them. Here we go, we're gonna start with the team leading the game right now. Simone, that's gonna be you. You ready to kick us off? Yes. Zebra. Z-E-B-R-A. Okay. Mr. Perkins, tiger. T-I-G-E-R. All right, keep it in the cage over there. Falcon. F-A-L-C-O-N. Good job. Dolphin. D-O-L-P-H-I-N. Everyone stays perfect. Gorilla. G-O-R-I-L-L-A. Okay, Malik, good work. Giraffe. G-I-R-A-F-F-E. Good work. <laughs> Buffalo. V-U-F-F-A-L-O. Feel like I got it. Vulture. V-U-L-T-U-R-E. Staying perfect, guys. Pelican. P-E-L-C-O-N. Forgot the I in there. Mia, you're out. First one. Elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. There it goes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alligator. A-L-L-I-G-A-T-O-R. Good job. Porcupine. <laughs> Uh, P-O-R-C-C-U-P-I-N-E. She double seed it. That sound incorrect. Oh. Couldn't do it. Sorry. Flamingo. F-L-A-M-I-N-G-O. Good job. Anaconda. <laughs> uh, A N N. Double end it. You are out of there. Mr. Perkins leaving Miss Palmer to herself. Platypus. P <laughs> P L A T A P U S. Sorry, buddy, you're out of That's a tough word to spell. Simone, you're by yourself. Antelope. Antelope. A N T E L O P E. Good job, Miss Palmer. Barracuda. Yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> you can do this. Mm, B A R. R-A-C-U-D-A. Wow, you got it! Whoa! She holds on! Now, Simone, do you know why that's so important? You just held off the teachers from getting 30 points. Both of you guys get 10. It's 80, it's 40. Yeah. Before we go to break, she spelled so well, I'm in a good mood. I'm giving everybody extra credit. <laughs> Hey, Meredith Vieira, host of 25 Words or Less, right here on Fox 29, is asking our extra credit question today. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. A correct answer here, 10 points added to their score. Meredith, what do you say you give us this question? Welcome to the show. Hey, Richard, here's your extra credit question. What is the atomic number of hydrogen? I think you know it. Well, I'll have the answer for you right after the break. Classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Cristo Ray Philadelphia High School in the Tioga section of the city. You guys know where it's at. Now, before the break, Meredith Vieira, host of 25 Words or Less, asked both teams this extra credit question. What is the atomic number of hydrogen? Of course, I know it, but do they know it? Now, teachers, <laughs> let's see your answer. You said... One. One. <laughs> and students, you said... One. Or Uno. Why? Okay, we got the answers. Let's find out if they got it right or not. Meredith, what do you say? The correct answer is one, as in Philadelphia is one city I love. Hope you got it right. We're taking them to school right now. Students, you guys won it. You got 90 points on the board now. If you win $500, where's that going to go? Field trip. Oh. We get field trip for our school. Where are we, go where are we going? 
We're going to plan together. Yeah, okay, somewhere yeah. awesome. Yeah. All right, cool, guys. Good to see you. Thanks for playing here today. 500 go a long way. Mr. Perkins, if the teachers win it, besides a year's worth of shampoo, where's that going to go? <laughs> we are going to deck out our uh, forbidden fifth floor. Uh, nice. <laughs> okay, that's a cool idea. All right, have you ever uh, sang before? Give me, like, your best B note. What does that sound like? <laughs> okay, good. He's going to do great in music class. <laughs> All right, teams, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then my man, Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia, is going to read a small portion of those lyrics. Okay, your first person to buzz in, get it correct. You're going to get 10 points for your team. But if you get it incorrect, as always, their side can jump in and steal those points. Well, guys, we have three sets of lyrics today. So what do you say we start with the question? Here it is. Listen closely. What performer wrote and sings these lyrics in a 2007? Seven hit song. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the Michael Jarek. Here is your first one. I'm not going to write you a love song because you asked for it, because you need one, you see. First one in, Miss Palmer. Is it Sarah Bareilles? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> I'm not going to write you a love song. That is an absolute bop. All right, kids, that's cool to say bop, right? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to say that again. Great. Qu question two. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2018 song? Is it a bop? Okay, your second one is kind of a plea. Girl, why can't you wait till I fall out of love? Won't you call out my name? Call out my name. Girl. Name. <laughs> First one in, Malik. Is it the weekend? The weekend is right. How about that? Century Mark gets it up to 100. And we move on to our final question. Guys, good luck, everybody. What rock band sings these lyrics in a 2013 song? Mike, I'm playing the air guitar here. All right, here's your third one. Let them wonder how we got this far, because I don't really need to wonder at all. Yeah, after all this time, I'm still into you. Answer. Paramore. Paramore, there it is. <laughs> he grabs two in the music round. A big thanks to Mike Jarek for that performance. As always, he crushes it. I'm giving him five stars. Hey, guys, score, students, 110. Good for you guys. Playing a great game here today. Teachers, 60 points on the board. Also playing a great game. Hey, what do you say we put a bow on this guy? We're going to the final exam. Here's the topic, and it's all about dragons. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Get it right, 100 points, three questions on the board. You guys will write it down during commercials, but I'm going to give them to you first. Here we go. Question one, final exam, all about dragons. What dragon is considered the largest, heaviest living lizard in the world? Question two, dragons. Wales, whose flag features a large red dragon, shares a land border with which other nation that makes up the island of Great Britain? Question three, dragons. What is the first name of the young male Viking who befriends a dragon named Toothless in How to Train Your Dragon? Awesome films. Okay, you guys know the questions. Dragons, I love them. Do you love them? You got 60 seconds to find out. Will it be my students? Will it be the teachers? Or will somehow Sister Regina come out of the game to say, I'm winning this game today. When we come back from commercial, we're going to find out who it is. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Cristo Rey Philadelphia High School going head to head. Now, students are in the lead 110 to the teacher 60. This show is about to wrap up with the final exam, which we learned was all about dragons. But I do not feel right finishing this show without the lifeblood of this school. So Sister Regina, come on over <laughs> here. 
Get in here. You're going to help me finish this show out strong. What do you say? My pleasure. All right, so here we go. Let's get right into it with Let's question it. number one. What dragon is considered the largest, heaviest living lizard in the world? Teachers, we're going to start with you. You said. We said crocodile. Crocodile, incorrect. <laughs> Not right. And now we go over to Malik. You said. We said the Chinese dragon? Incorrect. The answer. Komodo dragon, the Komodo dragon. And we move to question two. Wales, whose flag features a large red dragon, shares a land border with which other nation that makes up the island of Great Britain? Teachers, we're gonna start with you. You said. Scotland. Ooh, incorrect. Mia, we go to you. You said. We had no clue. <laughs> the answer. England, England. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this show comes down to this final question. What is the first name of the young male Viking who befriends a dragon named Toothless in How to Train Your Dragon? Teachers, get this right, or students, get ready to party. You're winning it. Mr. Perkins, you said. We're sorry, Mr. Er, Sister Regina. <laughs> They're sorry, Sister Regina. I couldn't get it done. Pick up is the winner. Students are taking home the prize. You come on out here with me. $100 is going back with the students. They had Hiccup. They had it right. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time right here on The Classroom. That was fun. I think I have a good time with you. Thanks for coming, girlfriend. You rocked.